Hi, this is Julie Harlan. Please visit my website at yourmathcal.com where I organize my videos by topic. A fraction that contains one or more fractions in either its numerator or denominator, denominator or both is called a complex fraction. Below are five examples of complex fractions. Um, complex fractions are not in simplified form and there are two common methods for simplifying a complex fraction. In the first method, both the numerator and denominator need to be written as single fractions and then you can multiply the numerator the re by the reciprocal of the denominator. In my example, the very first one is in that form, so method one works very well for that. For the rest of them, method two is actually easier for most people. You multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the least common multiple of all the denominators of fractions in the numerator and denominator, and this eliminates the complex fraction in the first step. All right, so in this problem, we're going to use method two again because there's more than a single term in the numerator and denominator. So you need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the least common multiple of all the denominators. So the denominators we see are there's an x, there's x squared, same ones in the denominator. So x squared is the least common denominator. And at this time I'm going to go ahead and multiply it by x squared over x squared to the right of the problem. It doesn't matter which way you do it. All right, so then we need to do the distributive property. So we have 2 times x squared, which is simply 2x squared plus, and we have to do the 5 over x times x squared, minus, and then I have to do 12 over x squared times x squared, and we also are going to distribute it in the denominator. So we have 4 times x squared, minus 4 over x, times x squared minus 3 over x squared times x squared. All right, so let's simplify everything. We have 2x squared. All right, now we have an x squared in the numerator here times the x. So we, one of those is going to cancel one of those x's, and I'll just have 5x. 2x squared plus 5x. And both the x squares here cancel, so I just have a minus 12. All right, same thing in the denominator. We have 4x squared, 4 over x times x squared. That'll give us a 4x, because one of those will cancel, right? We'll just have 4x, and then both of these x squares will cancel. So we have minus 3. All right, so by multiplying by the least common multiple of all the denominators, which is x squared, and then simplifying, we eliminated the complex fraction, and now we have just a rational expression. We have to see if we could factor. So that would be our next step, see if it's possible to factor. And you could use any method you want for factoring. So if you want, put the video on pause and figure out, figure out the correct factors. All right, so 2x squared plus 5x minus 12, that factors to 2x minus 3 times x plus 4. And 4x squared minus 4x minus 3 factors to 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. So we do have a common factor that we can cancel here. So our final answer is x plus 4 over 2x plus 1.